A warm welcome from Hannover. I'm pleased to be in the production site of Volkswagen Nutzfahrzeuge today and meet with Lars Krause and Ulrich Proske. Hello Lars, good to Hello, see you. Hello Peter, hey. good to see you. Great to reconnect. Hello Ulrich. IAA was in Hannover four years ago, 2018. Lots of things happened. Ne? Corona, semiconductor shortage, uh, high inflation, uh, supply chain disruptions. So many things happening in turbulent times. How are you doing? We are facing severe challenges, uh, especially the past months turned out to be quite challenging. Um, however, I think any crisis implies also chances and therefore we are using uh, these important times uh, to optimize our processes, systems and at the end our performance. Looking into the future, how do you foresee the future of transportation? I mean, these changes are also turbulent. Uh, in the past years we already discovered uh, severe changes in our product portfolio and also in the customer demands. For example, passes services increased a lot. Yeah, this is one of the main drivers for change. Uh, another important factor turned out to be service vehicles. Um, many of our customers try to differentiate uh, via services and therefore our service vehicles become uh, an important part of that. Um, a third one is of course electrification. This is a main driver for the entire industry. That's true for commercial customers as well as for private customers. And fourth, of course, autonomous driving is coming. We are working on that. And this is also changing the industry. We are quite yeah. sure about that. Which types of vehicles uh, do you expect on the road uh, going forward to fulfill those requirements and changes that Lars just mentioned? There, there will be a huge variety of different kind of, of products because they are specific to the use cases. So if you imagine uh, long distance or huge uh, truck loads, you, you still have to have the heavy trucks and they have to go to certain hubs uh, in the outskirts of the cities but it will go into uh, BEV as well, so battery electric, so we will see it with MAN and, and uh, Scania. But on the other hand, if you look at the inner city, it will change as well from the use case thinking. So does it need cooling? Does it need heating? Is it a small pass? It, does it to be delivered very fast? So it, it will be a huge variety, so we will be prepared for this to get the customer the right product.